everybody and welcome to the channel truck it prowl here thanks for joining me today is going to be a video talking all about the different pros and cons of electric vehicles these diesel vehicles so let's get straight into this it's 2023 elon musk has just rolled out his new tesla truck semi semi truck whatever you want to call it what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't seen it yet, then I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for the video of that particular truck. And maybe you can come back to this video and comment below, let me know what your thoughts are of this truck. So the first thing obviously that is gonna be good about the new electric truck is obviously gonna be fuel efficiency. It's gonna cost a lot less, especially if you're an owner driver, to basically run your truck also it's not just going to be great on fuel efficiency it's going to be better because there's not going to be any parts or well, not any parts but you know what i mean there won't be as many parts it will just be a lithium battery and a few little doodars and all run by a computer maybe that's a good thing maybe that's a bad thing who knows so you're going to get your electric truck, you're going to hit the road, you're going to do your delivery and you're going to start making your way back from your delivery. You need fuel or in this case you need electric. You've got such a vast amount of places that are set up for this, right? No, not so much. Just plug it in and voila, away you go. Well, how long is that going to take us? Not too sure about that one yet, but I can't see it being a um, an easy thing. Imagine putting up at a truck service and having to wait for a charging port as well as having to have a break. That's gonna be, um, yeah, testing to say the least. Now, one thing I did notice when watching this video was the first question the guy had for the Tesla people was how much do these trucks weigh? And like a politician, he totally avoided the question and started talking about something totally different. So I'm guessing that they weigh quite a lot. Now, they might be more fuel efficient, but if you've got that extra weight, then that means you can haul less, right? Or are they going to put the weight up? Who knows? So in today's current climate, we have fuel stations literally everywhere. We know with a diesel truck that you're not going to be able to run out of fuel without finding a diesel pump pretty much every 100 miles at least. Don't think you're going to have the same luck with these uh, electric trucks, at least not right away. It's gonna take many, many years for them to implement something like that. I must say my biggest problem with these new electric trucks is probably how they look. I mean, they look like a, I don't know, like a really bad designed caravan or something. It's definitely not the prettiest truck that I've ever seen especially when you uh, compare it to Peterbilt or a Scania V8 or whatever truck you prefer it just doesn't have the same sex appeal to me but you might disagree now the thing that you can always sort of guarantee with a diesel truck is reliability now it's not to say that these electric trucks are not going to be reliable we just don't know how reliable they are as of yet like most things in this video it's all a bit of what's going to happen in the future and me personally i'm cool with change and i like a new challenge but i'm not sure if it's going to take the fun out of driving because it's going to be so computer assisted if you've ever driven a tesla or been in a tesla then you'll know that most of the driving is all done by the car um, obviously you can take over and do the driving yourself, but when you're doing long distances on a motorway, you're probably just gonna stick it on cruise control and just let the vehicle do most of the work, right? I suppose you do that really now anyway on a, on a diesel truck. So who knows? I am so undecided on whether I like the idea or not of these electric 
trucks and it's been something that I've been trying to do a lot of research on but there isn't a lot of information other than this one video that I've seen really on them and I can't make my mind up whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Now one good thing if you are an owner driver is the fact that the government will be offering tax relief on electric vehicles as they do in many countries already um, for cars. So if you're an owner driver that's obviously going to be a financial plus for you. It's going to make your outgoings a lot less. But how much are these trucks actually going to cost you to buy or lease? Now, I think the sensible solution is what they're gonna do is roll these electric trucks out to be more of local runs. So just around the cities, around towns, places where there's gonna be access to charging ports. And that might be just trunking from depot to depot. So if you're going from one Tesco's to another Tesco's or any of the other supermarkets, there's likelihood is that they'll have the chargers in both depots and that will make your life a little bit easier. I think it's gonna take a good amount of time before you'll be able to just use them on long runs especially in places like America where you could be doing 600 miles plus a day so yeah it's it's definitely going to be a slow process so one thing they have said about these new Tesla trucks is that they're going to be built in with all the safety features that you would like to have in a truck Although the trucks today are pretty good, they have the um, sensors on them and have the auto braking on. I imagine if the Tesla cars are anything to go by, they'll be a lot more advanced than your average truck these days. So that's always a positive. Mm -hmm. 